Linda, however, despite putting on a brave face to the Gorthi, was falling apart. She couldn't sleep, was cutting herself, heavily abusing heroin, and only barely functioning as a mother. On the 19th of August, Linda, encouraged by her father, John, rang Detective Inspector Mangan and said she needed to talk. When he and Detective Inspector Hickey arrived at the house, she took the two detectives into her bedroom and finally told the horrific story of what had happened that night in Richmond Cottages. We got to me ma's. It was getting dusk. Me ma's flat was number one. It was me first time there. Me and Charlie were talking to each other and having a laugh. Sorry, before this, me ma had crunched up an e-tablet and put it in Farah's drink. And I think ma wanted Farah to have the ease as me and Charlie were in great humour. Farah was putting his arm around me. He put his arm between myself and Charlie. He pulled me tighter. He sort of jerked me. It didn't feel right. He said something dirty in my ear. I didn't understand him, but I knew it was dirty. It was something he shouldn't have said to me. It caused me to shiver. He said to Farah, get your hands off me. He whispered something like, you and me are two creatures of the night. Try to imagine the scene in the room. You have two young women that are completely dysfunctional, that are drunk, are on drugs. You have an African immigrant who's involved in a relationship with her mother. They're aware that this guy is violent. They don't particularly like him. And then he starts making sexual advances towards one of them. I stood up to get away from Farah. He stood up with me and still had a tight grip. He was saying, Linda, Linda. I was trying to push Farah's hands off me waist. I said to me ma as I tried to push his hands away, he'd sleep with your daughter as quick as he'd look at you. You just had this kind of almost heavy, intoxicating atmosphere of violence, drug abuse, alcohol, mistrust, and uh, dislike in this room. And it manifested itself in a knife attack. Shh, <laughs> shh,